What is up, you guys? Orlando here with Leisha Record Studio, another tutorial for you guys. And today we're gonna get into the custom Opto by Slate Diesel. This is the new compressor they just released, and why I think this is an LA2A on steroids. Let's do it. Remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. So just do it. So I have a beat I'm working on uh, right here. Let me play a little bit of it for you. So I have this compressor on the mix um, all over the place in a few instruments. Just wanted to show you how it looks, what it does, and what are the knobs here. You have the gain reduction meter here. You have a peak reduction knob. You have the ratio. The speed is actually a pretty, pretty cool one. This knob is actually attack and release at the same time. If you go all the way up, 10 it's um fastest speed possible and that means fast attack fast release and if you go down to zero it's gonna be slow attack slow release the output gain so you can level match your signal as well and this is really interesting here they added a tone uh, feature and with this one you can actually go all the way up to 200 or 100 which is the standard basic here uh, i'm gonna leave it in 200 so you can actually hear the tone in what it's doing it has uh, several settings here flat meaning it's not doing anything just leaving the signal as it is it's not adding any uh, tone to it uh, and then you have smooth warm aggro and airy and you have a mix knob here which is really really useful so i'm gonna put that to 100 i'm gonna use it on the stereo out I'm gonna mute all the other instances of the of the plugin here, and uh, let's take a listen. Um, it's a really, really subtle, and that's what I want to gain with actual mix bus compression. I don't want to go overboard with it. And in this case, I'm going with flat, but I'm going to move this up, and I'm going to show you the rest of the tones here. Uh, but uh, you saw, not much gain reduction. It's just a tone thing, and you can actually hear all the instruments coming a little bit of front end creating that glue that I want and that I love in the mix bus compression using this one as a mix bus compression uh, plugin. And uh, there's a setting here, there's a preset that it's called mix glue. You can start from there, but again, with every mix, uh, don't rely on presets ever. Uh, just go with uh, your ear and go with uh, what the mix actually is asking for. Um, don't use presets just because, okay? So here, let me do a lot of peak reduction so you can actually hear what is going on with it. So airy, as you can see, it's just letting pass a lot more of the high end or the top end 
of the mix and um it's kind of cutting a little bit of the lows i'm gonna leave this in flat because this is gonna be for the stereo out i don't want any colorations basically on that just want to do um you know really really subtle uh changes there and uh let's go from there so let me show you how it sounds with all of them activated and with all of them off. I have them on the vocals, uh, strings, choir, electric dart hats, 808s, and the main sample. So let's take a listen to all of them, including the uh, mix bus or the stereo out, and see how it sounds before. I can notice right away that it's bringing up front a lot of the mix and a lot of the elements there, including the hi-hats. Again, it might be subtle to you. The hi-hats, it's really interesting what it's going on there. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, let me solo the hi-hats really quick so you can listen before and after and get an idea of what it's doing to the hi-hats. So I'm going with the airy tone here and I'm going to show you why. It's almost giving it a life by itself uh, with this compression here. And again, I'm going with one to three maybe um, uh, dBs of gain reduction there. Uh, it's not much. It's bringing a lot more of the high end, the top end, and it works wonders on the hi-hat. I think it sounds pretty, pretty cool. It's super, super smooth, like an LA-2A, because I think it's modeled after an LA-2A, but they added so much more function to it um, that they made it a custom. And that's, you know, the name, custom opto, like an LA-2A on steroids because it has plenty more functionality there and it's working wonders with plenty of stuff. And until next one, guys, uh, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. Remember to subscribe, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us and see you on the next one.